G'day YouTubers, Devil's Prodigy here, bringing you update 3 of Project Gobsmacked. Uh, it's been a very interesting week, it's been a little bit of highs and lows, but uh, other, overall I've had a lot of fun uh, painting, uh, video gaming, playing Magic the Gathering with friends, so it's been a lot of fun in a way. Uh, so the good outweighs the bad, so that's, for, that's for sure. Uh, I've got a few models painted up and completed. Uh, one of them was the... Avatars of War Goblin Shaman, which I'm using for a Night Goblin Shaman. He came out so much better than I expected, and please check out the, the video, uh, sort of where it's, it goes a bit more detail about him. Uh, he, yeah, he just came out really well. The, the, the arm just, whenever the light hits it at that, that certain angle, it gives it that really th um, glowy effect, and it looks awesome. I'm so stoked and wrapped with the way he, he turned out. And if you put him in a unit, I thought I'd show you what he looks like. Uh, if we put him in a unit, he sort of sits like that. Um, this is, I guess, the probably the the majority or the, one of the few ways he can fit in the unit. You can put him in across the middle of a horde and that. But the trouble is, you put him in the middle of the horde. His coat, or oh, sorry, his um, he, yeah, his cloak. Yeah, um, it hangs over the edge and. Even if you turn him this way, it, it makes it a bit difficult to fit him in. So that's the only drawback, I guess. If you're using it as an individual character on the field, you wouldn't have that problem, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, he looks really cool. I, I think he looks great. And the other model that I painted was this guy here. And uh, he came out really cool. <laughs> the little squeak cracks me up. I just love the squeak models. The, um, I can't wait to paint my other squeaks, actually. Uh, but yeah, the, <laughs> it looks really cool. And uh, the other thing I was working on, you would have seen it in my ramble video, was just painting these night goblins, the unit of 40. I've done the my, um halfway through the hoods. I uh, had to stop yesterday, which is, was a bit of a pain because some things come up. So I'm hoping to get the rest of the, the hoods done today and then I can hopefully move on to the other parts and look to try and get them close to finish by the end of the week hopefully. Uh, other things that have happened or I've had a few uh, people request through comments and private messages on how to do how I do my my skin color on my night goblins and uh, orcs so what I'm gonna do is I've got this savage orc model here that's not painted um, I thought he's a he's a good size model to sort of show you, so it'll be quite clear hopefully. So I'll do a little tutorial using him, and I might do get a few other little night goblins as well, and we'll just we'll just go through it, and hopefully that helps some people out. It's I do it really simple, uh, really really easy process. By all means, it's not um, I'm not a, a super um, painting expert or anything like that. I just do it the way I, I think, uh, the way I'm happy with, essentially, and uh, I find it's just really quick and easy, uh, especially when you're painting so many night goblins. And I, if there's one tip I can give for when you're painting big units, and I talked about it in the Ramble video, at the end of the day, when you're looking at a unit like this, you see the front, but you know, as you start going back, you don't really start to see the characters behind that. So it's always good to do the front rank and you like, try and spend a little bit more time and do a little bit more detail. And uh, then you sort of move, as you, you know, as you're moving back, you, you just tend to not do it as, as much highlighting in that. In saying this though, I often don't do that. I do the same amount of highlighting for every model. So, <laughs> but, uh, um, and, uh, I, or, and snap one of my mates, he keeps telling me off, he's like, just paint them, just get them done. <laughs> Don't spend so much time um, highlighting each individual character. But, oh, well, that's just me. That's the way I like to paint, so, yeah. Um, other things, if we swing around, sorry for the, the movement. Uh, I've ordered the, the Scrig. Dwarf Mocker model, he's ordered. I uh, ordered him today, so hopefully he'll get here sometime late this week, early next week. So that'd be really cool. We can we can start working on that model. The uh, um, Forge World models, I haven't ordered them yet, mainly because they 
they have a lot pricier. The Squig model was only fifteen dollars, so I was laughing. I was like, yeah, easy. Um, and yeah, the the, the forge rod stuff comes from England too, so it take longer. And uh, yeah, I'm just I I want them, but at the same time, I'm a bit hesitant about buying them right now, especially when I need some other, um, I guess more important models such as um, manglers and things like that and uh, yeah I mean there's other things I want to get the squeak hoppers too I want to get them before I get the the, the forge rod stuff because uh, they, they just seemed a lot more fun to to paint in that and yeah I, th I think uh, if I can sort of break it up a little bit by doing different things so I'll, I'll like do these 40 night goblins and do the the Skrig, then maybe do the, you know another unit of 40 night goblins and do a doom diver I sort of like to break it up like that otherwise you get bored very quickly if you're just doing um, like large units of the same thing over and over and over and over it just gets a bit bored but um, I, I usually tend to do the full unit in one hit so I'm doing 40 here some people uh, can't do that and there's nothing wrong with that some people only like to do five or ten at a time whatever works for you is that it's Best to work out um, what you what your your limitations are, or um, you don't want to do say like I do forty. You don't want to do forty like this, and you get bored or you get burnt out, and you, you just don't finish them. So uh, yeah, I just I just like to do the forty because I do it in stages. I don't sort of jump around. I just do like all the greens, then all the reds, then all the the spear colours, and so that's the way I sort of paint them in batches, and I find it works really well. Uh, and it gives me time in do the reason I do this paint them like this as well it gives me time to watch my YouTube videos and that as well and um, because you're batch painting you're not sort of you know, really spending that like, doing a lot of that individual detail on a single model so you, you can sort of look up a lot more and and get uh, and uh, listen to the videos uh, a bit more I it, if I'm doing an individual character in that I tend to tune out from time to time so yeah anyway we'll leave it there whoop sorry a uh, bit of a it ended up being a bit of a, an update a bit of a ramble <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think I've also thought of and this is a way out there idea further down the track I've thought of doing some goblin scenery as well some night goblin scenery or night goblin town or something like that so let me know if you think that's a that would be a good idea to do as well uh, and then I might even talk to some of the, the scenery uh, experts on uh, YouTube. There's quite a few of them. There's a, there's some really awesome guys out there who make some amazing terrain. So, uh, yeah. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next update. Hopefully this week there'll be a few more videos. And then um, I probably will hopefully get the night goblins finished and then move on to something like a doom diver or something like that alrighty guys take care of yourselves hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next update video alright bye